let's talk about the arrangements of records inside the file. How best can we arrange our records inside the file so that uh, come the time when we, we, we have to locate them, uh, it is not a chaos or it's not a struggle. But before that, uh, I would like to remind you not to forget uh, to subscribe to the video so that when other videos becomes available, you are first to be notified and for access. And also, if the video is of great uh, use or uh, very useful to you, uh, please give a thumbs up so that we know uh, that we are on the right track. And uh, more importantly, try to share with other colleagues or fellows and students uh, so that uh, you show care to them. Lastly, if you have a comment or a question, you are more than welcome to comment or put it on the comment ch chat or slot so that uh, we can assist further or discuss further uh, in the process of assisting you. File covers and filing. Uh, the file covers, uh, I used this uh, typical example extracted for, from the National Archives Policy Manual uh, to show you uh, which is uh, mostly used in government bodies for filing of records. And uh, this cover need to be uh, neat and clear. So the labeling must be such a way, in such a way that uh, they are clear and visible Normally, uh, organizations use the stencils to write uh, to, uh, as a, in a form of labeling. And, but the other option is to buy a scanner, I mean a printer that can suitably print in line with the arrangements here. And then again, in, in your fi fi file, you need to have an index that reflects the content of your, your file, showing which records is contained in the file and when uh, was the, the, the each file uh, put in the file. And the folio numbering, very important. Uh, all the pages in the file must be numbered so that you, you, you as a record manager or record practitioner, are able to track or identify any missing records when the users return them to registry for filing. And also the folio numbers must also reflect on the index so that uh, you, you see how many pages is contained in this file without counting them. And when you go to check, you, you will know what is missing in the content. So the audit trail form, very important to trace and manage uh, the, 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 the records uh, for when they go in and out or the record circulation. So with the audit trail, uh, if you want to implement it properly, each file must have an audit trail form. And uh, you, must, you must have five boxes uh, labeled uh, uh, names of the week, uh, days of the week. Uh, and each day when you, when you issue a file, you take out the audit trail form and complete it uh, with the details about the requester and even including the contact number so that you can follow the file up if it's overdue. And then after completing, then you put it in the box for that day. If it's Monday, you put in the Monday box. And uh, every day when you come to work, the first thing first, the first activity is to check the box for the day, whether there is an audit trail in the box or not. If there's an audit trail, it means the file is overdue, you then can call uh, the request to return the file because it is overdue or if the person still need to, to use the file can come and make arrangements to, re, to extend the, the period. And the cross-reference very important uh, usually is used to put on top of all the records when the file is full and closed so that you can refer the user to the next volume to say uh, they must know that uh, there is a volume two. A volume closed, please see volume two. So this will help also when it 
it comes to auditors uh, because auditors may not be familiar with the, our filing system and when they see the cross reference they'll be able to see or if what they need is not contained in the file it means it might be in the next volume and they may come to request the volume and other than just concluding that the records or document is missing and they can put it as a query so the volume size of the file must be three centimeter thick and it must be closed once it reached that level or it is 150 pages and the line on the spine of the file uh, will stretch to show that the file is full and it need to be closed so that the file does not lose a shape or become uh, an, 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 uh, neat and unprofessional. And uh, as a record practitioner or record manager, you must ensure that uh, all the, 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 the on out covers of the files are replaced from time to time when uh, they are dilapidated so that we can avoid damage of records eventually inside the file. Filing inside the file. This is the arrangement I was talking about. Uh, you can see uh, this is a typical example or illustration of the records that are need to be filed inside the file. And I tried to number them, and the records were created by myself. I did not take them somewhere. You can see I'm very good in art. Uh, so this is the first record which was received in the registry. And uh, in the file, it must be on the bottom, and this will be next on top. And then on the to uh, highest level, it will be the one number three, which means it's the latest uh, record that was submitted. So this arrangement helped to avoid uh, uh, removing the, the the records inside the files for rearrangement or rearrangement always when the new record comes in. So you just put the latest on top and put the the latest number. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and again. Do not forget to give a thumbs up if uh, the, 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 the video was of great assistance to you or it was helpful to you or it, it has assisted you to solve uh, your problems in one way or another. And you should you have any comment or a question, put it on the comment chat so that we discuss further or try to help further. And more importantly, share the video with other people who are interested in the subject matter or your students and colleagues. And uh, lastly, subscribe to the channel so that we are able to notify you should other videos become available. Uh, thank you.